Rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and I'm absolutely so excited to finally introduce you to the Dueling Ninjas Overdrive pedal. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this has been literally years in the making, several iterations, and we finally have a product that I am proud about and that we've already been shipping. So let me tell you a little bit about this. It's been a, a dream of mine to have a combination of a couple pedals that are on my current pedal board and to combine those into one pedal that does all the same stuff, but even more, and to make it affordable, but a go-to pedal that you guys don't have to think about, that you can just buy and plug into any amp and make it sound amazing. So let me tell you just a short history about this. Then I'm gonna show you how it functions and then we're gonna hear some playing examples. So, two of my favorite pedals on my pedal board right now are a Tube Screamer and a Full Tone OCD. These are two of my favorite, use them all the time for different applications, different guitars, different amps, that sort of thing. And I went to Mark Kerr from Kerrtronics, who is a boutique pedal builder, and I said, hey, these are two of my favorite pedals. Now, I wanna, there's things that I don't like about them and I want those changed, but essentially the basic vibe of those is what I want can you do this for me? And I wanna be able to cascade those two pedals, meaning I want the one pedal to feed into the other to create yet another tone. Mark said, I think we can do that. Several years later, we have the Dueling Ninjas overdrive pedal, and this is how it works. Essentially, you've got the left side, which is that kind of Tube Screamer-esque type of sound, but what I didn't like about the Tube Screamer is that it didn't overdrive to the capacity that I wanted it to. So it was great for, for you know, beefing up an amp and getting it to, to sing a little bit more, to break up a little bit more, but that was all you, you really got out of it. So when I said to Mark, I said, I want that to, to actually be more, I want there to be more gain ability to get to that gain. And then I wanted some other bells and whistles and essentially that's what we've done. Uh, so you can see that both sides has their own volume, their own tone, and own drive. So you can essentially think about this as two pedals. Yes, there's only one foot switch, but you have this little toggle which gets you back and forth into the two different zones or the two different pedals. So it's on right now and you can see it's going from green to white. This also has a modern and classic switch so we'll give you some more tonality changes. And this has a high gain and low gain, or high and low is what we're calling it. And, and that will also give you yet another tone from the white side here. If you're familiar with Tube Screamers, you're gonna get that basic vibe from this side. If you're, if you're used to a plexi type sound, more of an overdriven, hard rock, heavy metal type of sound uh, that can go even kind of a Stones kind of crunch, that's what we have over here in the OCD side. What I'm calling the OCD side. Of course, this is our own circuitry and our own proprietary bits and pieces with all the stuff that we've added here. Now here is where the magic happens. What I found is that if I take my tube screamer and I run it into that OCD, it created yet another sound that I absolutely loved and it was great for soloing. It was great for improvisation and really getting that guitar to jump out in the mix and to sing. Check this out. Just like a regular pedal, you just click it and it turns on. But in any mode that you're in, whether you're in the green or white mode, does not matter. If you hold the pedal down for one second, now it's going into what's called ninja mode. So you saw that light turn red there. Now it's turning into ninja mode. And so what that is, is a cascading of those two pedals, which creates the, those nice searing solos. So enough of how this thing works. You're gonna tweak it to your own liking. Let's hear how it sounds. Here's a 65 Stratocaster running through a 67 Plexi. This is just flat sound. Now with the Dueling Ninja.
This time we're running through a 59 baseman, no pedal. Here's with the green side on. This is a 69 SG with a Marshall JTM 50, no pedal. Here it is with the pedal. This is a Les Paul R8 through a 67 Plexi, no pedal. Same setup using the white side. Same setup, this is what a typical lead might sound like going through the white side. Sounds great, but if we need that extra boost over the edge, we're gonna hold that pedal down and go into ninja mode. Rockstars, that is it for this video. I am confident that you are going to love the Dueling Ninjas pedal as much as all the feedback that we're getting already. If you'd like to get a hold of one yourself, click the link below and please let us know when you get it and what you think of it. Thanks so much for watching.